Notice the white jackets they have on, the white pants. Why is that? Sandy is a marvelous fellow. He has a great history in the 10th Mountain Division. He's always been very enthusiastic about racing. And he just exemplifies, I think, the spirit of what uh, skiing has been. Well, anybody who served in the 10th Mountain Division is an inspiration. Inspiration to everybody from the state of Colorado and obviously an inspiration to anybody who is part of the ski business. The 10th Mountain Division, after all, was the founding fathers of the ski business as we know it today. Not only was Sandy a member of the 10th Mountain Division, unlike so many others, he didn't learn to ski in the 10th Mountain Division. He taught the skiers of the 10th Mountain Division. Uh, my father, being a teacher, a trainer of the troops, brought out the best in those troops as soldiers uh, because of his excitement for the sport. He's another great story coming out of the 10th Mountain Division and individuals that in many ways changed the face of skiing. In Sandy's case, it's really just his sheer passion and force of nature that really has made that difference. In master ski racing, Sandy treats a legend. I mean, to be racing at the level that he was into his 80s, uh, to be as supportive as he was of, of all of his competitors, of the sport, um, is just absolutely legendary. When I was the director of skiing at Vail, I kept hearing, Sandy Treat, Sandy Treat. You should see Sandy race. It's all about the masters. So there was something very special about what Sandy brought to master skiing, and it became infectious. Now his son became a ski racer. His three grandsons became ski racers. My dad gave me a great appreciation of the sport of skiing at a young age. We always had fun. We worked hard. We trained hard. We always made it a great time. I'll describe his technique free skiing and racing. He was always driving down the fall line. He had a little cock on his left arm, loving the feeling of a carve and just taking it to the finish with everything he had. I can remember the day that Sandy hurt himself training slalom on Gold Peak and uh, lost the function of his eye. And his first question, I don't think, was, you know, will I be able to see again is when can I start racing again? In order to get back on the hill, he had to figure out how to do it. And he decided to line up with the Blind Skier Association until he realized that even with one eye, he was out skiing, way out skiing, most people on the hill, and uh, he had to go off on his own again. And so even at 86 years old, he's um, probably still one of the fastest guys on the hill. The first one was called a mummy bag. That fits you tight. And, it tipped out. and Sandy spends a lot of his time uh, talking to people. Uh, he's a great asset to the ski museum. He shows people around, he tells them the history of the 10th Mountain and some of the history of the skiing, ski racing. For him to pass on the knowledge, his experiences, his stories about the uh, 10th Mountain Division, this is such valuable information to share with people and pass on for the generations to come. Here in the Vail Valley and throughout the state of Colorado, Sandy Service has been uh, also notable in terms of the boards that he served on. Um, he served on the uh, organizing committee for the 1989 World Championships, served as a chairman of the board of the Jimmy Huga Foundation. Um, his service goes well beyond the sport um, throughout the communities of Colorado and, and uh, of course through the sport of ski racing as well. In the end, the sport of skiing really thrives and succeeds because of the individuals who participate in it from a recreational and a recreational sport aspect. That is Sandy Treat. He is the ambassador of skiing everywhere he goes, every day of his life. And while we love ski racing and so many other things and innovations and all those, if it's not in the spirit and the soul of the person, then that will never really spread on. Sandy, he spreads that every minute of every day. Sandy, congratulations. This is your night. On behalf of all of the kids and membership, coaches and staff of Ski and Snowboard Club Vail, Thank you for being such an inspiration to all of us. Sandy, a special congratulations to you from everybody whom you've touched in your career. Finally, your time. Congratulations, Sandy, on your induction. Congratulations, and you're a marvelous guy, and you're one of my heroes. This is a special moment for you, for all your hard work and dedication. To be inducted into the Hall of Fame is truly an honor for yourself, and for your family, and especially for me. We love you and are so proud of you on this day, and congratulations.